uh, let's do this example. So we have in 1015 hot rolled bar has been machined in a diameter of one inch. It is to be placed on a reversal axle, reversed axle loading for 70,000 cycle to failure in operating environment using a STM minimum properties. Estimate the endurance limit and fatigue strength at 70,000 cycle. Okay. In a way, what is the stress applied? So that makes the makes the component to last for seventy thousand cycles. All right. So the first things we have to do, we go to the book, we open a PDF ten nineteen. So the component is ten thousand fifteen HR hot rolled, as you could see here, and the tensile strength is fifty k pound square inch. And the yield is 27.5. So we start with tensile strength, SUT equal 50 k pound square inch at room temperature of 70 Fahrenheit. However, the temperature given in our case is 550. So we need to, to get the right temperature. We have to go back to the table, as we see here, to the Marin factor. And we need the one related to the temperature at a temperature equal to 550 so we need to find the interpolation to find the ratio of st divided by srt okay temperature divided by the room temperature okay which is to get this formula it's the value of kd so once we do this we go back to slide 28 we get the value if we do the interpolation 0 0.979 so when we multiply this by 50 we get 49 k pound square inch sut at the given temperature of 550 degree Fahrenheit okay so if we go back to the book at page 287 PDF we have here sorry if we go back to the book at page 281 sorry the endurance limit if the SUT is less than 200 k pound square inch, so SE prime endurance limit is equal to 0 0.5 SUT so this is will be 0 0.5 times 49 the value obtained here is equal to 24.5 k pound square inch so now we need to calculate the marine factors all of them ka kb kc kd ke kf and kd kd value so we need to find okay the surface the size the loading uh, the uh, the loading the temperature reliability and the miscellaneous factors Okay, so we start with the surface. In order to calculate the surface, we have to go back to slide number five. And we have, I need to remind you, 1015 hot roll seed bar has been machined. So we need to use those value 2.7 and B is equal to minus 0 0.265. And so we do this as well. We come back to here. 2.7 minus 0 0.25 times 49 SUT at room temperature. So we get the value of Ka. Okay, uh, we go back to find the value of Kb, which is the size factor. For axial loading, Kb is equal to 1. We need to find the value of Kc, which is the loading factor for axial, because 0 0.85 okay temperature we already obtained it before we already incorporated in the equation so we don't mention it here we keep it as one but because we've already used it before we have the reliability at 99 degree so we use it at 99 so 0 0.814 okay so we incorporate the whole equation to get 16.3 k pound square inch okay we need to find the value and fatigue strength at 70 thousand cycles we already find the endurance one SE is equal 16.3 so we need to find the fatigue strength at this value we know from if you go back to equation of in the book page 284 okay we have equation 613 614 615 so we have the value of n n is equal 70,000 cycles SF is a fatigue limit at 70,000 cycles. This is the amount of stress imposed to cause the system to operate for 70,000 cycles before it breaks. We need to find the value of A and B. We have SUT and SE in all of them, so we need to find the value of F. F, which is a fatigue strength fraction. If SUT, which is equal to 49, is less than 70, so we consider F equal to 0 0.9 by default. 
so we put all those values in the equation and we get f is equal sf fatigue strength equal to 23.9 k pounds range